Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome to November 25th, day 25 of NaNoWriMo for 2019. So yesterday I stopped just short of 40,000 words and the goal for yesterday would have been 40,008 words to meet the NaNo curve. Didn't quite get there, but I was only a couple hundred words short, a little under 400 words short. So my goal for this morning is simply to break 40K. I'm going to check and see if Jessica Williamson has another one of her 20 minute sprints up. And if not, I'm just going to use one of the old ones. Old. Yeah, from last week. That's not old. Anyway, to try to get those words so that at least I get that much done today. Mondays being what they are, that might be it. But we'll see. Yay, I made it to 40K. However, I recorded the voice to this on the 29th because apparently I had managed to shut off my microphone. Anyway, this brought me a little closer to the nano curve there, uh, even if it wasn't quite to where it needed to be yet. And for a Monday, yeah, I'm calling that a win. All right, so it is November 27th now, 27th day of NaNoWriMo. As you might be able to hear from the background noise, apparently the neighborhood kids had early dismissal from school and are very excited about it. Um, I'm holding at 41,267 words. I'm supposed to, today, reach 45,009 words. That seems pretty doable for a day when I don't have to go to work. I have already been to the chiropractor and the grocery store. Um, fortunately, got all that stuff done before the total chaos unfolds out there in the world. I'm hoping not to have to venture out again unless maybe I go to Starbucks to upload some stuff because my Wi-Fi speed is terrible. And hopefully they won't be as crowded as the grocery stores. But that would be the one exception is I might consider going there. But other than that, I'm hoping to just focus on writing. I don't know if anybody has any sprints going today. I was hoping maybe some of the folks not in the US might be running sprints today because they're not in a cooking frenzy today. <laughs> uh, but I'm not seeing any so far. But I might just not be looking in the right places. But even if not, what I might also do, because it really does seem to help, is go back and watch some live streams that I missed like that or like last night I came in late to uh, Brooke Passamore and Mandy Lynn's live stream right in and I came in after all the sprints were done so I did my own thing after that we'll see that some of that might be useful what I'm finding myself doing right now rather than advancing the story is actually going back and doing some more world building backstory that's going to at some point have to be worked in to the narrative because I mentioned I had written myself into a bit of a corner and that corner was because I had some inconsistencies in my world building in terms of how elementals relate to humans um, there is a pact between elementals and humans what does that actually consist of who agreed to it why do most humans have no clue about it all of that stuff so I've been working on that primarily and not advancing the story because to take the next step in the story I need to be really clear on that because that really impacts character motivations and character decisions Point of view is also going to be a thing in the next draft of this because I do think I am going to have to give point of view to at least two other characters, possibly three. The third character is introduced rather late to be given point of view, but we'll see. I had previously thought that to give these other characters point of view on the one hand increases um, certain elements of the story that the readers probably looking for when they pick up something that's contemporary fantasy 
but it, they're things that are unknown to the main character. So I had been playing with, does it also need to be unknown to the reader or does that increase dramatic tension? Then I realized, and this is how I ended up with some of this world rebuilding, that there was a way to make it so that one of those other characters that needs point of view also doesn't know what the main character doesn't know. And I had assumed that was not true. Now I think there's a way to make that work and I've, I've built that in to the backstory and I'm hoping that'll be useful going forward. That's going to mean rewriting some chapters or, and, or just, I don't know if whole chapters are going to be to each character or if it's going to be by scene. I prefer to keep it to a whole chapter, but that may or may not work. That said, I've done this before. My first fanfic novel, I had to go back and rewrite scenes and all, uh, alternate points of view. Not because I had started in all one point of view, although I think I might have initially, but as I was going back through on like the third draft, I realized that certain sections worked better in the other character's point of view for one reason or another. So I've done it before, I can do it again. It's not the end of the world. It is not throwing away 28,000 words. Yes, I'm still bothered by that. It is what it is. So let me get to some writing and I will check back in. So I did do some sprinting, got about a thousand words, and then realized I had best do a dry run on the um, cream bean casserole that I needed to make to bring to my sisters the next day. It's a very good thing that I did because I ended up discovering in the process that I was missing a key ingredient and was going to have to run out to the store after all and get it. that cool off for a little bit. I uh, was missing an ingredient, flour. Wondering why it wasn't getting thick? Yeah, I thought I had flour. I did not. So of course it wasn't going to get thick. So I'm going to have to go to the store again, which I'm not happy about because now it's after four o'clock. People have gotten out of work and are going to be descending on the stores en masse. And yeah... Not my fave, but tomorrow's batch is going to need to be made with flour so that it is actually a little thicker the way it's supposed to be. Other than that, it looks like it turned out okay, but I'm going to let it cool off a little before I give it a taste test. In the meantime, I'm going to see if anybody's doing a live stream anytime tonight so I can schedule my writing. Yeah. Give me an excuse not to go to the store yet is what I'm really getting at here. And it is now November 28th. It is something like 6.30 in the evening. Just got home from spending the day with the family. And now I need to write. I did not get any writing done this morning. I overslept. I slept through, I don't even know how many alarms. Whatever. Apparently I needed it. And... So I just about had time to make the, um, what do you call it, green bean casserole thing that I will put up here somewhere. Came out much better with flour because, you know, it's a funny how things do work better when you actually have the ingredients. So that all went fine, other than I got stuck in ridiculous traffic and was late, but, uh, but it all worked out in the end. One thing I want to do before I get to writing, though, is update my bullet journal spread with my words up till the 27th, because I haven't in, I don't even know how many days, and this is one of the things that is supposed to help keep me motivated, right? Any surprise that I've been kind of flagging a bit? Also, I've been noticing as I edit these that my crafting table, 
has been getting progressively more stuff on it every day. It's not actually supposed to look like a cluttered mess behind me. And the worst of it, you can't see because it is right behind me. So if I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the bullet journal, I need to clean that up. So there's some motivation there. Let me get on that. step is to get ready for some sprinting. Set up the spreadsheet, get ready to roll, and figure out what I'm going to sprint to. All right, well, it is just about midnight. I'm just about to call it a night. I finished out the live stream the recording of the live stream that i have been following yesterday from um aphrodite lee's channel and then went over to evie redding's channel um and did her very interesting variation on um pre-recorded sprints i thought it was a really cool idea to do it as a premiere so that she actually got the writing in twice when she recorded it and when she premiered it. Um, that, that was a really cool idea. So I, I did get a lot of words in. I made it a little over the uh, nano minimum for the day. Not for where I should be for the total, but just more than 1,667 words. Hold on a second. 1,696 words bringing me to a total of 45,710. So, slowly but surely, I've got two more days, 5,000 words in two days is totally doable. I think I'm going to end this batch of vlogs here um, because I think that tomorrow and Saturday are probably going to be pretty long and I think this Monday through Thursday bit is already pretty long. Um, yeah. So that's the plan for now. Who knows? Plans change. But um, how are you going? What uh, what challenges have you been running into and what strategies have you been using to um, meet those challenges? And um, if you celebrate the American Thanksgiving that was today, then I hope by the time you see this, you, it'll be definitely be past tense that I hope you had a wonderful one. And... If not, then I just hope you had a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye.